what is going on win team today we are going to tackle bat calibration i know this is a pretty hot issue um, especially when you can't get it right the first time and then you get stuck somewhere right so this video we're, we're going to go through multiple different facets of calibration from start to finish um, i already have my bat calibrated but the great thing is is that you can relearn calibration by pressing into this eyeball looking icon in the opposite batter's box when you're in a hitting drill. All right, so when I press that, all right, well, now I pressed out of it. When I press back in, I'm able to do calibration, right? A, a quick look, just because we're on it, you're able to see your round summary, your metrics, and then any modifiers, right? This is where you can do bunting. But today, like I said, we are going to do strictly calibration, all right? So the first part is adjusting what hand your bat is on, right? Uh, this can be for both, um, and really this entire session is good for both bat attachment and controller only hitting, right? Uh, but of course, if you're using the bat attachment uh, and you're on this step specifically, you're gonna wanna take the controller out of the bat attachment to switch hands, right? So. How to switch hands it even gives you a little step by step there um, but long story short to switch hands um, in this uh, event it's from right to left i am going to press on the back trigger of the controller that's not uh, that's not occupied and i'm going to raise it like this i'm going to click the back trigger see that now the controller switched from right to left if I want to go back, left to right, all right? Right to left, all right? And it's accomplished by pushing this back trigger, not the side trigger, not a button, but the back trigger, all right? Fantastic. So now we want to go to resizing the bat itself, okay? We have two spheres, one on the bottom and one on the top, right? Same sort of uh, 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 same sort of technique that we used when we wanted to switch hands from right to left where the bat was. We're going to use this back trigger again, not not the side, not any of these buttons, but the back trigger. We're going to put that inside of the gray sphere, and we're going to move it up, right? So I'm moving my arm away from my body, or moving it down move my arm closer to my body to your desired length. Oh, okay. So it'll go from as low as 24 inches all the way to 40 in or 44 inches. My apologies, right? So say I swing a 33 inch bat, right? This is what it would look like on my hand. Okay. And then same thing for the knob, right? Here we'll be able to uh, 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 adjust where the bottom of our bat is in relation to you know how the vr app sees it right so if if i were to move my bat you know closer to me that's going to move the controller up along the bat right but for me i'm in controller only mode i want to make sure that it's as close to the base of this controller as humanly possible, right? So I'm gonna do that, right? So in the event that you see your bat like this, right, that looks funky. You know, you might have an issue where it looks like that and you're like, okay, what do I do next? You're, you're gonna wanna go into the bat specific mode. You're gonna wanna grab the sphere at the bottom of uh, your bat and then move it, right? Almost to touch the top of your right controller or the top of the controller that you're using for calibration to the bottom of the controller that is is your quote unquote bat in VR. And when I do that, we're back to normal. Fantastic. Okay, great. Next part of calibration is adjusting your strike zone. Okay. When I adjust the strike zone, once again, same mechanism, we're using the back trigger right so if you get anything out of this and say you get lost at any point when in doubt use the back trigger and put it in the spheres 
that's the easiest way to remember calibration on whatever part you're going through, okay? So if I wanna raise this up, putting the controller inside the sphere, I'm grabbing the back trigger and I'm moving it up and down to wherever I want my strike zone, right? So say I want a really wide zone, I can move it up and down. Say I wanna make a really tight zone, I can move it up and down, right? So that's how you're able to manipulate what your strike zone is in VR. And then ultimately, Guardian Boundary, we have another video on this that you can check out on how to uh, specifically uh, readjust your Guardian Boundary in VR. Um, so I implore you to check it out there, uh, but it also gives you the steps on how to do that in the opposite batter's box, okay? Now, if you're fully satisfied with what, uh, what hand the bat is on, remember, right or left, bat size, whether you want it to be 44 inches, 24 inches, or probably a more normal 33 or 34, and also where the bottom or the knob of the bat lies, right? Remember, we don't want it way up here. We wanna put it back down to the bottom. Strike zone calibration. And then ultimately, if you need to readjust your guardian boundary, steps on how to do that there as well. Win team, this is how you go through calibration successfully. Um, and if you have any other questions, uh, any other concerns, once again, don't remember or, or uh, don't forget, my bad, don't forget to look at the uh, user interface that is in the opposite batter's box inside of VR. Stay swinging, y'all. Yeah.